Hey everybody, Crystal Gamer here and welcome to my channel where I do all things Sims including builds, build tours, tutorials, pack reviews, cast videos and more. And where today we are doing the second in a series of videos about using the Sims 4 gallery. Now a friend of mine told me that she was seeing people having a lot of trouble with gallery on Facebook so I'm doing this little series in hopes that it can help a few people. However, I'm not on Facebook very much at all so if you know of any people or groups or anyone that it might help there or elsewhere, please do give it a share. So all right, so last time we talked about uploading to either your own library or to the gallery, and today we're gonna talk more about searching and finding things and how we favorite and save lots and things like that. And I'm considering one more video on the web-based gallery, but I'm undecided. I'm not quite sure how much that's needed. If you guys think it's needed, let me know in the comments below. I'm, I'm kind of undecided if I should go forward with it or not. Nonetheless, let's get into this one. Okay, so we are going to go into the gallery by clicking the little picture button up here or clicking the F4 key. And of course I'm on PC, sorry to the console users. I have no familiarity with console at all, work entirely off of PC. So that is what we're looking at today. So, all right, so it just opened my library, which it opens, I do believe the way this functions is it opens the last thing that you were on. So if you're on your own library, say say you're under the Maxis thing. If I close this down and then reopen it, it'll open it at my library under view content by Maxis. So I had it on all. All is not truly all. It's actually mine and others. It doesn't include Maxis. So Maxis is a separate category category by itself, just so you're aware of that. And basically just means that it's it's builds that are Maxis curator, curated. And then your other two categories, of course, uh, are the mine category, which is your own stuff that's in your own library. And this others is other people's stuff that you have saved to your library. So these are things that you've built within your own game that you've saved. And others are things that other people have built within their game and you've saved it to your library. And we're going to go over how to save things to your library that are other people so you can find them again and also how to favorite. And of course, we have a couple of more options down here, sort options, the categories, the, the popularity thing. And then also you have a custom content option down here. So don't forget this option if you work with custom content a lot, or if you don't, make sure you you watch what's selected there. And then you have your, your pack options here. And these options pretty much stay the same regardless of which gallery you're on. You have your owned, your base game, that stuff there. And you have your drop down here where you can search by item name, by hashtag, or EA account ID. Now, obviously, if you're in your own library, you can just click the mine button here and you don't have to do specific EA account ID. But if you're looking for a specific build of yours that you know the name of it or you know something you hashtagged it with and, and you have a really large gallery that's full of a lot of stuff, those two can be helpful. So that is your own library and then there is your gallery tab. So your library is what's on your own computer. Your gallery is what is out shared in the public and you essentially have all of the same menu items on the left, but you have something different up top and that is you can either view your own profile or friends. So friends are people that you're following online. So following on the gallery, that is. So if you click on your friends, you, you can see everyone that you're following. Now for me, I do not love this because I have not found a way to sort this. I can't sort by alphabetically. I can't sort in any way possible. So because I'm a builder, I don't really download very much stuff. So I don't, I don't follow too many people. I have about four people that I, I really download from and they're actually not builds that I download. I download artwork for my builds. So um, so I keep my list pretty small. And what that allows me to do for, for me is it allows me to either, 
it allows me to visit these people that do a lot of this type of thing and uh, of the artwork type of thing that I like to do. I know who they are, so I can visit them real quickly and and check out what whatever their latest artwork is because I know who they are and I have a small follower list. So in that way, you can search the gallery in that way if you have a small list of people you're following. If however you love to follow thousands of people, this, unfortunately, I have not found a way that it to search it in any way, unfortunately. But so that is your your friend section and how you follow. Oh, and if you're in a profile, by the way, you can if you're in anyone's profile, you'll have a button up top here that lets you follow or unfollow. So just be aware that 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 button exists and that's how you follow people. So, all right. So that is how you find people, how you find your friends, how you find stuff for, for your friends that, that they build and whatnot. And we already talked about your different categories here. Now we have, there are two other things that I wanted to cover the favorites and saving things to your library. So I'm going to go to the friend section to do that real quick. And I'm going to go visit Jules because she is who I download from the most. So I'm going to go check out her catalog. Let's say we're feeling tropical right now. So we have some beach palms. So if I were in build mode, it would give me this option to place the room in the build. I'm not, I'm, I'm in game mode, so I'm not there. But my other options are, I can flag this, of course, for reporting it. No, no reason to do that. But I can favorite the room or save the room to my library. I'm going to do both of those things with this, actually. Save the room to my library. Gives me a little saving to library message. And I'm going to favorite the room. So I've done both of those things now. So, all right, I want to go out of hers and let's go back to my library. If I click on the others or the all, actually, either one. There you go. There's your beach palms. Click on others. There you go. There's the beach palms. So it's it's right there. It's in my library now. I saved it to my library. So it's there. So that's one option. Saving to your library is one option and it shows up in this space if you do that. Now, the other option is if you just want to favorite it, where that shows up is you go under your own gallery tab and then click on my favorites over here. Now, the only thing about this, I do not know why, but the most recent thing that I just favorited, y'all saw what I just favorited, it's not right up here, our palm trees. We are going to have to scroll down and find the palm trees. And finally, there they are, beach palms. So that took forever to find. Now, I could have maybe looked up palms. I could have done that. We, we can do that now. We can actually look up beach. We can look up palms. It should show up. Let's try that again under item name. So you have to be in the right place. So I looked up beach under item name. Now, the first time I looked it up under hashtag and it, it didn't show up because that wasn't the hashtag, but I looked up beach. It comes up. It's beach palms. So it's there. But be aware that when you favorite something for whatever reason, it does not always show up. You can go to my favorites and it's not always at the top of the, the list. And in fact, that showed up way kind of far down. So I'm not quite sure what determines how, this order, but just be aware of that if you favorite things. But favoriting is one way to uh, be able to retain something so that you can go back to it. So, all right. So those are those two sections. And then we can go to the actual gallery and take a look at what's out there. And here again, we have the same drop down for item name, hashtag, or EA account ID. We have the ability to view content by all or things Maxis has curated or by the people that we're following. So this is another thing. This goes by that friends list that we were talking about before. So this is a way to see everything that your friends have uploaded lately and anything that you might be interested in anyone that you're following. So if you have some really good builders or really good cast people or like like I follow a lot of people that do this artwork type stuff, you'll be able to see that there, which is kind of nice. And of course, you have a few more sorting options as far as popularity category. Don't forget your custom content thing. And then of course, your pack options remain the same. So that is that category. There is one more space within the PC that you might be able to find stuff. 
and that is under your news category. To the right hand side, what will happen is anything you do or anything any of your friends will do will show up here. So if you're following some really incredible builders or cast people or, or whatnot, and they they post something, they post a build or, or a household, you'll see it when they post it. If they favorite something, you'll see that as well. So this is your newsfeed and we'll show you all of that and, and what people are doing. And it will also show you who's downloading your stuff. Maybe not who, but like this here, you can see two people have downloaded this, four people have downloaded this. So I can see that people are downloading my stuff if I look at this. And it also lets me know if someone new has followed me or something like that. So it's another place where you could potentially find things, say, say I see this, oh, men have favorited this. This looks like a nice lot. And maybe I want to take a look at it and, and favorite it myself or, or download it myself. So that's another, another kind of, not necessarily a search but another way to find things and last but certainly not least we have the sparked challenges tab so all right so you have some options over here on the left to conduct your searches we do not have the drop down so you can't look up by eaid or hashtag like you normally would but they give you some drop downs over here for whichever challenge you're looking to choose from. And then also, if you click on, say, Builder, for instance, you get some more options here. So if you want to look for a lot of a certain size or whatnot, and you know, your money constraints, and then of course, the type of lot. So you get a few different categories around here. I will tell you that I participated in the first challenge. And about two seconds after I put my build up, it was I don't know, way, way, way down in the list in order to find. So I don't know if that's happened to most people, but that mine went away very, very quickly and I had to actually do some searching for it. But nonetheless, this is where you find Sparked Challenge builds and Sims. Obviously, if you click on the stylist area, you are then in with the Sims. And so if, it, you know, honestly, the cast stuff are not the cast stuff, but the Sparked challenges. It's kind of cool just to to sort of look around here and see what people are, you know, putting up for the challenges. That's that's just kind of a neat thing. And it might be a good way to find some new simmers too. So I think that about covers everything. So if this was helpful at all to you, or if you think it was helpful to anyone else, please don't forget to hit that like button. If you know people that could use this, please definitely share it. And if you like Sims content, don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you head on out. And thank you all for spending the time with me today. I do hope to see you all back again next time. Bye now.